can rot your brain And if you think you're not afraid Sing this song and grab your blade And stab that pumpkin with your knife Make it grin and give it life Don't send devils, run and hide But if they catch you, you will die Poison apples, razor blades Black cats with their flesh decayed All your loved ones will be dead When hell is full and the moon turns red So stab that pumpkin with your knife Right folks, welcome back to Ghost Stories. Um, we're just out and about. Welcome to Roach's Castle. We haven't been here in quite a long time here. This is our first time here in numbers of weeks. So what's Roach's Castle all about? Well, let's show you a clip and uh, to tell you roughly what's going on here in Roach's Castle. Take a look at this. A few miles from Dundalk, there are the ruins of Castle Roche. It was built by a woman called Roisha. She wanted a castle built on a high hill overlooking all that she owned. She said that any man who could build the castle to her exact specifications would gain her hand in marriage, and with it, half of her lands. Now, it wasn't long before men were lining up to build the castle, and Roisha looked among them, and she made her choice. She selected a young man, and he built her the castle. True to her word, Ruisha married him, and she took the hand of her new husband and led him up the stairs to the bridal chamber. She directed him to the great window to look out 
looked over all the lands that he now owned, over the fields, the sheep, the cattle, and marveling on his good luck, he felt her hand on his shoulder. And as he turned to kiss her, she pushed him from the tower window and he fell plummeting to his death. Now if you go to Castle Roche and look up at that fateful window, the wind might start to sound like a shriek. But you might think you feel a presence coming closer to you. Perhaps the doomed bridegroom. Or maybe it's Roisha, the murderous widow, determined to keep her secrets at any cost. Right, folks, so that was roughly the story of Casa Roche, a wonderful video that you can find on YouTube in relation to the history and the ongoing stories here of Roche's castles. That's roughly the story of what goes on. Um, as paranormal investigators goes, this was probably our first ever place to come to do a paranormal investigation. And uh, the results we got were quite amazing. And even to this very day, um, I haven't even got as good results as I did when I visited his castle um, then many years ago. So um, if you're not aware of what we picked up on the spirit box session here in Roach's castle, just take a look at our, of our next clip in relation to the spirit box, in relation to the story you're only after he hearing in relation to Castle Roach. And be careful and listen very clear carefully in relation to the spirit box sessions. In this area here where I walked walked up here and the spirit box came out saying I was thrown out window out top and that was the story the lady was telling about Lady Larisha and on the eve of her marriage that she walked the bride and groom walked up these stairs here on the night where they got married and she kissed her husband on the cheek and as he turned around she pushed him out the window to his death and just pay attention to the spirit box sessions that I did here a few years ago and you can actually hear it on the spirit box I was thrown out window out top take a look at this and we'll see you in a few minutes Lady Larisha you threw your husband out the window at the night of your marriage so he could not get your wealth your land or your money are you around here please my name is Philip I come with love, joy and respect. I'm looking for evidence in the afterlife, trying to prove to people that there is a spare world. Lady Larisha, I'm in Castle Roach. This was your home. After when you killed your husband, on the night of your marriage, you threw him out one of these windows to his death. If your spirit of Lady Larisha's husband is here, can you come around me and touch that red light and make the rampart go green? My name is Philip. I come with love, joy and respect. If there's any spirits here, can you come forward, please? If you can say my name, Philip. Can you say Lady Larisha? If John, the spirit of John, your son, if you're here, can you say these names out towards the spirit box, please? Are the stories are the stories true? Are, there, are these stories to be true? True, spirit. They, what happened here? Yeah. Is the spirit of John still here? Is the spirit of John still here? John, are you still here? <laughs> Lady Larisha, did you come to be a nun? In Alton, in England. Lady Larisha, the window, I heard the window, turn back. Right, so just got to go back to the chat a minute. So he could not get your wealth, your land, or your money. Are you around here, please? My name is Philip. I come with love, joy, and respect. I'm looking for evidence in the afterlife, trying to prove to people that there is a spare world. Lady Larisha, I'm in Castle Roach. This was your home. After when you killed your husband 
on the night of your marriage, you threw him out one of these windows to his death. If your spirit of Lady Larisha's husband is here, can you come around me and touch that red light and make the rampart go green? My name is Philip. I come with love, joy and respect. If there's any spirits here, can you come forward, please? If you can say my name, Philip. Can you say Lady Larisha? If John, the spirit of John, your son, if you're here, can you say these names out towards the spirit box, please? Are the stories are the stories true? Are, there, are these stories to be true? True, spirit. What happened here? Yeah. Is the spirit of John still here? Is the spirit of John still here? John, are you still here? Lady Larisha, did you come to be a nun? In Alton, in England. Lady Larisha, the window, I heard the window. Turn back. Right, so you're going to go back to the. Right, folks, welcome back. Um, so you've seen what I've done here in past investigations and you can hear the spirit box coming out. I was thrown out window top. Uh, as going as paranormal investigators, you go a long, long way to try and prove that again in the in the paranormal field. I've came here hundreds of times. I even came here in the night of the death, even up these alleyways here, down here doing spirit box sessions. But as it goes, um, you have to keep trying and keep trying to try and prove to you guys that that Roach's Castle is actually haunted. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a guided tour. We're going to do two spirit box sessions here today. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee is we're going to be here too long at all. Um, today was only just to get out, try the new phone. Yes, a new phone. And uh, we'll just try and do a spirit box session in Roach's Castle. I'll go home then and put it together. And we hope that you're going to enjoy it. So we're just going to give you a quick look around. We're going to go down where we can never go and went live. We're going to do two different spirit box sessions. And just hope you're going to enjoy it. And just we should be back uh, to schedule hopefully next week. Don't know what's going to happen in relation to the COVID-19. Because it looking like it's, it's looking like County Loud are going to go down in lockdown again so there's no halloween no trick or treat this this year but we'd hopefully please god the lockdown will be over by the time we do our halloween special so let's turn around the camera let's give you a quick guided tour of the place and um let's uh try and do a spirit box session down here and up here in in the, the relation to the story goes casa roach um this place was it's alive with activity with spirits but you have to be um here on the time when it does click click on but uh, as the stories go, uh, Lady Larisha threw her husband out top on the eve of her marriage. And um, today it's, it's, she's known as the, the Black Widow of Castle Roach. That is the death window there. That is where the bridal... So th there used to be a, a, a stairway going in here, a long corridor there. If you're watching in my videos and past videos, there's an actually a corridor going straight down. And it brings you back in here. And years and years ago, th there was a second floor there. And where the ivy is in between the, the window, that is where Lady Larisha threw her husband out top on the eve of her marriage. Um, even as we speak here, and we're trying to explain these stories to you now, the, the, the spirits of this castle will hear my story. And we're hoping that John, John Devender, uh, the, the, the husband of Lady Larisha, and you can hear... Um, the lady telling her story, the one I showed you, but when you, when she, you can actually hear her saying, Larisha, but for for the spirits to get activated and interact with your spirit box and saying, I was thrown out window out top, that is the corridor that brings you back to the bridal room, and that is the window where Lady Larisha was thrown out on the eve of marriage to her death. So that's the story, and this is the story of Castle Roach, and um, if you heard the spirit box session, when you hear her saying, I was thrown out window out top, that is actually the, actually the corridor that'll take you down to the bridal suite, down here, over here where the ivy is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you down to um, 
this place down here and we're going to try and do our first spirit box session just down here in towards these dungeons we'll take a little guided tour around the place and we'll do two different types of spirit box sessions and today was only really to get out and about and just to test the phone see is it okay and sees the memory okay and we should be on another pre-recording next week and then hopefully back into our lives then so we'll see what happens this is castle roach what it looks like during the day when you see me here at the night time you can't see any of these structures at all that was kind of a hold all for a food place here and roach's castle was a huge place back in this time but where we're going to go we're going to here into these dungeons in here and we're going to do a spirit box session in here and we'll see what, what we can pick up here today we're going to do two two different spirit box sessions and uh, i just want to never ever try to get in here to do a spirit box session because um the weather is always against us so, so we're going to go in here in this wee old spot here and uh, you can never come in here doing pre uh into doing any any live investigations because um it's just the way it is there's no wi-fi in here but we can pre-record in here so what we're going to do is we're going to put on the first spirit box session here and we're going to do a spirit box session here with this one and we'll see how we get on so um as i turn around the camera and we'll see can we get the light going with the light even come on i don't know how to get the light going on it but anyway we're just going to keep it like that for a minute and um, i have actually another light here so just give me a second now we'll just turn this around there's going to be no breaks in this we're just going to keep it going now until i get the spirit box session out and uh, we'll see how we go. we're just going to put on the light here i never actually never ever did a spirit box session here so we're going to do one so we're going to try and stand up the camera for a second let's hope it'll just stay there for a second or two lovely so what we're going to do is we're going to take out one spirit box session and uh, we'll do one spirit one spirit box session here and um, um if i think the, the the tesco one is is if I think the Tesco one is strong enough to keep going with well, them, we leave it alone, we we'll leave the Tesco one the way it is. And um, if we have time to do the Mark we we'll do the Mark Um I don't want to go over a half an hour of this, so if we go over a half an hour, we're actually five minutes into it already. So if we go over the half an hour, we won't have time for Mark Well, We'll see how we get on. I'm very confident with this other one. So that is the Tesco one. That's the spirit box session that I usually use. And I have the Mark Coders one as well. But imagine I always keep going to this one for some reason or another. So in my spirit box sessions, if I hear it or pick it up, it will come up in the letter red. And um, it's up to yourselves, guys, if you believe or what, to believe what we hear. But we're in one of these little dungeons in Roach's Castle. Never did a spirit box session here. The first spirit box session here, you can actually hear the spirits. I was thrown out window out top. So let's hope something will happen in the spirit box session today. Not guaranteed. Every in investigation is going to be different. Not guaranteed it's going to work every time. But let's give it a go. First spirit box session in Roach's Castle. We're only out and about just during the school run. We said we'd come out here. Never did a spirit box session ever, ever, ever here in the dungeons of Roach's Castle. So let's have a go. Spirits of Roach's Castle, my name is Philip. You know me by now. I've been here dozens of times doing spirit box sessions. The story of Lady Loretta. She threw her husband out window out top of the eve of her marriage. Lady Loretta, known as Teresa. It said in the spirit box, Teresa, and the, the legend goes Lady Loretta, but we heard the spirit saying Teresa. Teresa threw, threw you out the window out top of the eve of your marriage. The story goes that she kissed you on your cheek, and as you turned around, she pushed you out the window out top. She's known as the Black Widow of Roach's Castle today. Believe it or not, your wife went on to Alton in England to become a nun, and that is where she spent the rest of her days, in Alton. John Devender... I think that's your name. Can you try and use this device today again and try and communicate with me? Tell me you were thrown a window out top. You did it the last time on an app. This is the same kind of device. If you can try and give me some evidence that you're thrown a window out top or the vendor, please do so. Come say hello to me. Please do not be afraid. If there's any spirits here in this dungeon, can you pick up a stone, throw a stone? Can you try and whisper into the microphone that's here? Let us know your presence is here. Please do not be offended what we do. I come with love, joy and respect. We mean no harm. We're just here today to say hello to you guys. So Spirit Box, box session is going on now. If I hear it, it'll be up in red. So here we go. Spirits, can you use this device and say hello to me today? Or is there slightly more last minute prepping goes on? The risk of osteoporosis. The story is true. 
Thought that said ghost. And we will be working with the sector to ensure this. And John Devender. Two, three, six, nine, six, seven. Are you here? So let's turn around the camera so you can see what's going on. Turn up this light. Any spirits here want to say hello to Philip today? Okay, say hello. What was this dungeon used for? Can you say Lady Larisha? Are you thrown out, out top the eve of your marriage? Any spirits here today? Paulus is known as someone who will try to hold them to account. It's Porches will be lettered. Saving Grace. So guys, um, not picking it up in the spirit box. Um, you could come here hundreds of times, but I just wanted to come out here. This is only a quick run around. We're 10 minutes into it. We're only going to do a half an hour. As I turn around the camera, you can see the camera is trying to focus on something. So as I turn around the camera, it's trying to pick, try to pick something up there. It's going to turn around and try and explain what I mean. I'm pointed at this area and it's trying to pick up something. I don't know what's it trying to pick. It's focus up and on, but I don't see it in there. Absolutely nothing. So we move on and we'll keep the spirit box going and it kind of covered so we'll just go outside here and we'll bring you outside and we'll keep the spirit box going here in around here we're not going to climb it up any uh, up tunnels or anything we're just going to give you a guided tour of the castle what it used to look like years ago and there's these were all lookout towers here one time so the, the people would have been up here throwing towers of oil but oliver cromwell destroyed this place back in his time too so we're just going to walk around, give you a quick guided tour. We'll do another spirit box session. That's where we got all the activity up there. I was throwing a window at top. But I just want to bring you around to show you what I can show you during the day. Because when the nights go along, very, very shortly, we will be out here again doing spirit box sessions. And you won't see any of the structure of this place during the day at all. So we're just going to try and show you as much as we can. And we'll do a spirit box session in every little room that we will go into. And I actually don't know what, there's a big kind of a hole. This kind of looks like a bat area where they used to bat people, I think. Is this where they used to have bats? Is this where you used to have your bats? Any spirits here wish to come and say hello? John Devender here. Maybe we're engaging a little bit of Never come out again. Never come out again, it says. Is amazing spectacle. Lady Lorisha. Any spirits here want to say hello? As we walk down here guys, myself and Caroline have been here loads of times and um, this was a huge place back in the time an absolutely huge place back in this time Let's see if we can see, show you outside the windows You can see it there, look Look at the size of the place, guys. It's huge, absolutely massive. It's huge. Absolutely huge, guys. But, um, we'll bring you down here for another look. We'll keep going. But, um, we'll show you another bit here off the castle before we do another spirit box sessions. 
don't know what what that would have been used for not a clue but there's loads of little nuts and shallies here guys but I do know as we enter I do know as we enter the next pot here this is where the black entity believe it or not of Roach's Castle you feel the black side of it now in a couple of minutes when we go in here I know we've been here with, with Caroline a few times and we felt really really a, di a different atmosphere here uh, something really dark in this side of it so we're just going to enter that side of it and then we'll go to the side we're believed where where it I can even feel it now as we're walking around here so we're just going to turn we'll keep the camera on me this is where where Carling was here one time and we walked down here of Roach Castle and this is where we felt even now as I say it I can really feel the shivers hit mostly around this area here so we're just going to try and turn around the camera again bring you into it mostly around that don't know why I always feel it here kind of a shivery feeling here but uh, this is the room here in a way and uh, something was buried here that's freshly dug for some reason the way that's dug someone put a can down there but um as you can see there's a little gap there a little tunnel goes right through there, there the little corridor goes right all the way across here there's a little corridor here and there would have been a doorway here would have brought you out here to the bridal suite and you would have stepped down and this is known as the death window of Roach's castle where Lady Larisha threw her husband out window out top and we're going to show you why and we're going to do a spirit box session here we're going to walk around here for a few more to try another spirit box session and we show you where the death window is this is the death window here and this is where John the Vendor would have fell to his death down there look at the views down there but he would have fell down there but we're actually going to walk around there before we finish uh, which is something that I never did ever walked around the circuit outside they did a spirit box session we will do it we're going to do a spirit box session here I'm not going to do the Mark Cole box now today I'm just going to stick with this one we're going to stick with this tunnel here we're here in the darkness here and we're going to do another spirit box session here and let's see what we pick up is there any spirits here wish to use this device and say hello to me today? Let's I've seen it camera. before and I believe in tonight. Very serious. Tonight. Very serious threat. Uh, we've got to deal with so mental health issues. No provision for services uh, with regards to mental health. When I've seen the ash at the moment, it got burned up across Ireland. Guarantee scheme. So Who is the black entity I feel in this corner here? Terrifyingly close, Frank. Terrifying is right. Who is the black entity I always feel here? My best cancer journey. In this corner here I always feel a black entity. Who is it? For profit TD. Can you? And the fin died. Absolutely wrong. Daniel McConnell. The inbound with delays back before. Right guys, we're going to go up here now next. Um, we are 16 minutes in it. I only want to do a half an hour. It's only a quick run around. Um, I'm going to take you up here where it all started. And where it all started with me. So I want to do one lap off it outside as well. So we're just going to try and do as quick as we can. Not guaranteed it's going to happen this time, but I wish it did happen. This is where I stood. I put the ramp pod there and I walked right up here to the hill. We're going to repeat what we did and see can we get John Devender to come forward and tell him tell me he was thrown a window out top on the eve of his marriage so let's hope we can work it Lady Larisha threw you a window out top of the eve of your marriage John Devender Lady L Larisha or Teresha can you use this device try and tell me are the stories true Very apprehensive. Chris, can you say anything on this device? Make what we call today the name available in English. Are the stories true? My name is My name is Philip. Can you say Philip? Are the 
story's true. Lady, did Leah, Lady Larisha threw her husband out top the eve of her marriage? Spirits here trying to explain this to us. You got the gifts for the big birthday. And Declan in New Zealand is watching his post. So as it says, I don't know if I'm picking it up. It's only a flyby of an investigation. Just to show you what it did happen here in Castle Roach. You did hear it in the beginning of the first spirit box session I ever did here. I was thrown out window on top. I'm going to walk right around it now with this device on and then we'll finish it outside. So we're just going to turn around the camera. We're going to show you where she uh, threw her husband out with window on top. We're going to walk down that direction, one lap around the castle and out the gap we go. So I'm just going to show you as well. So we'll just try the spirit box session. We may as well keep it going now. Scientology. Join the switching. Any spirits here? We should say hello to Philip. Exclusive deals you won't find. It's just personal information that just. Denied. Coming across central. Any spirits want to say hello? Has brought up, you know, kind of everything that's. Uh, the story's true about Lady Larisha throwing her husband out top of the eve of marriage. She's known as the Black Widow of Casa Roach today. John Devender, if you hear the husband, can you say hello? How did I find out? It says. I swear to God, that's just said. How did I find out? I'm full sure that said, how did I find out? So we're just going to walk right around the castle once. We're going to repeat the spirit box session in a minute. We're just going to walk right around the, right around the circle. See what we pick up. We're just going to do one lap only. We'll just do one circle right around. And I never did this before. All the times, all the times I ever came to Castle Roach, I never ever walked around outside it. Um, it's a huge, huge place. You can see there, look at that. Huge, huge place. So let's keep it going. Yeah. Uh, a quarter. Me time. Down here. Not sure what that said there. Okay, as I said, I never walked around here, but that's that's Roach's castle, what it looks like from the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up here. Just hit something that cuts, caught my eye up here. So we're going to walk up here and see what we're spotting up here. As I said, I never did an adventure outside it during the day, but we're going to walk up here and see what we pick up. Lady Larisha threw her husband a window at top of the eve of a marriage. As many spirits here can. I also have to tell you as well, in relation to Castle Roach, when Oliver Cromwell invaded this place, hundreds of people were murdered and slaughtered and killed here. And people who have built Roach's castle, building it back in his time, were, were died from building this place from falling down. And uh, let's keep it going now. Any spirits can come and say hello, Philip? Any spirits want to say hello to Philip? We called the management company. Were you killed in relation to Oliver Cromwell? Do you know the Lady Larisha came a nun in, Alt in Alton in England? And died in England? She's a 
lovely <laughs> and uh, I'm going to and she would love a video of all the crap in Derry. To date. Current. From all of us. From the young people themselves. And for hey Spears up here, we should say hello to Philip. And <laughs> getting a load of laughing. Let's go up here and see what's up here. Then he spares here, we say hello to Philip. Pack with youngsters. The guards don't, they just walk by them and lift them up. Everyone else, me and Jess, are just kind of on our own. Don't have the same camera. Now you can see guys we're fairly high up here and I tell you if you slip you have some fall there guys Coming to the death window now, guys. So we're just heading to the to the death window now, in a second, guys. But you can see his castle roach is built in a rocket stone, and we're coming to the death window is over here now. Services to people with intellectual. Part-time opportunities, support worker, and so Family now in store together with a expedition place of crafting, sewing, and complete. So the death window there, guys, is just over here where the window is here. But I'm climbing mountains as well. This is why I never did before, I suppose. So we're just gonna try and one hand job down here as we're heading down the valley down these windows here one fall guys I remember this is where John the vendor fell to his death down here we're just, we're just coming to the window now this is where John the vendor was pushed out and he fell to his death right here you can see the window is just over ahead here and you can see it's building a load of rock but up there where the ivy is is the window is the window where he was thrown out the window to his death so he would have fell and possibly landed down around that area there back in his time so let's try and do a spirit box session it's there and see what we can pick up that's the dead window up there uh, the story is true that Lady Larisha Threw your window out top, up there, on the eve of your marriage. She kissed you on your cheek. She turned around and said to you, look what you've created. Now you get my, half my wealth, half my land, half my money. And as she kissed you on the cheek, she pushed you out the window to your death. Are these stories true? Who would the big so we're going to keep going guys we keep going up here 
don't know how we're picking at them, but look at it. It's a huge mountain of rock and Castle Roach was built on top of it. So we're just gonna make our way back to the beginning again and we'll finish it there, but it's some walk around. I never did it before. Been here loads and loads of times. Never walked around Castle Roach ever like that before. And uh, the, the weather is good today. There's problems hail, stones and thunderstorm tomorrow and Thursday, so I won't get a chance to get out. So I said I'd just come out and throw you this one. You can see there, there, if we can try and show you, the window is just there in the corner, the window of death, so you would have fell right down there to his death. I don't know if the spirit box picked up anything. We're gonna to have to review it, watch it back. But you could come here hundreds of times, guys. You could come here hundreds of times before you pick up Eden. So if you are coming to Castle Roach, um, don't expect to get Eden on your first time. Because um, it does take time for the spirits off Castle Roach to get to know your, to know your, who you are and how do they feel comfortable around you. I'm knackered after walking around that. But anyway, let's finish off with one more spirit box session here and we'll leave it in for another day because the clocks are about to change, the times are about to change, the evenings are going to get long and uh, let's hope we can go back on our live investigations but uh, I don't think anyone missed it anyway. That is the archway coming into Roach's Castle. Thousands of people have walked through here many years ago. So let's try one more spirit box session. Oh, before we go, I'm going to throw in a joke as well at the after day. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw in a joke. So it'll probably come at the end of it. And it's going to be for Carpy Chris. And if you don't know who Carpy Chris is, that's him there. Bing! That's Carpy Chris. He was recently just back from a fishing trip in France. And um, he did a good job. Well done, Carpy. Well done, Chris. Great job. Nice bunch of wee lads going fishing. Great crack. So here, this joke, it'll be up after this, and it's going to be for you, Carpe. So let's um, do one more spirit box session, and we'll leave it at the end then. So let's last, last try. Spirits, before we go, can you try and say hello? To, my name is Philip. You won't hear a car or bus coming here. I don't know what we're going to pick getting up in it. So as we're walking out of Castle Roach behind us, we'll keep the spirit box going. turn around the camera you'll see us live very very shortly in our Halloween special don't forget to like and subscribe to, to ghost stories we will be doing live investigation the night before Halloween so as we walk down here it's goodbye for me it's goodbye for Caroline and remember we'll see you in the next one Shlom Agsbanet bye bye for now Shop, hit a shop, and anybody here from England today, have we? <laughs> I'll just not ask any questions. But, you know, and he had a shop actually in England, Birmingham. He had a shop in Birmingham, and he was a little wee grocer shop. And one day, this this fellow came in, and uh, this uh, this fellow was he, he was he was of Indian extraction. He was from India, you know. I said, I was in an Indian restaurant recently there, you know. I'd never been in an Indian restaurant before. Never been in the And I walked in, the friends took me, and I went into the, and there was a big fellow at the door uh, with a sore head and all, a big bandage and everything. And I, <laughs> Must have been a row the night before, so I don't know. <laughs> well, he, was, he was standing there, he was standing there, he was like that, he was... He's scratching, he's, boy, my luck, I says, have you an itchy arse? He said, what he said to me, he says, only what's on the menu. <laughs> but, but that wasn't the one I was going to
going to tell you. One of them. I was going to tell you, but my friend that had the shop, he said, an Indian came in, he said, an Indian, he says, yes, can I help you? He says, yes, he says, I, I'm looking for the toilet rolls, the toilet rolls, please. And your man, of course, got him the, the nearest toilet rolls in the place, the clean eggs, velvet, moisture, ice, pasture, ice, triple ply, you know, the connection, the extra strong. And he put them out, which is one ninety nine for a couple of rolls. And she says, when, when, when the, the Indian lad seen them, he nearly needed them. <laughs> he said, oh, no, much too expensive. I'm looking for the cheapest toilet rolls. The man said, well, the cheapest ones are over in the corner there. He says, the, 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 the plain wrap, the no-name brand. He says, you know, she could read the newspaper and through them so you could. So your man bought them, 19 pence. Away he went. Come back the following day and he called the shopkeeper over. He says, excuse me, my friend. He says, yes. He says, I am having a, no, a name for your no-name toilet paper. <laughs> oh, really? What are you going to call it? We're going to call it the John Wayne toilet paper. He says, why is that? He says, because it's rough and it's tough and it takes no shit from Indians. LAUGHTER